Oh, hello everybody, and so glad to have you here for Final Fantasy VII Remake uh, Intermission, our lovely Yuffie story. We were having a wacky chase after Zijie for unclear reasons. He antagonized the Shindra soldiers, and now we've got a merry chase after the whole lot of them, so... Not that way, apparently. Really? It kind of looks like you could, but... Mmm... Oh, that's just a box. Hold on, do I have to flip this? Did I flip this already last time? Hold on, did I come through here? I'm pretty sure I did. Do I maybe have to... Oh. No, okay. I thought for a second I'd have to, like, mid-run throw it to, like, then flip me over there, but that doesn't seem to be the vibe at all. Uh, let's see. I'm pretty sure I came from that a ways. Oh, but have I... Or no, maybe not. Oh, no, I've been here. Right. Sorry, I'm a bit turned around. Since my last recording. Ah, so, just getting my groove back here. So don't mind me. But, uh... Seems like that groove was gotten very well. Yeah. You know, I'm pretty sure we came this way. I'm pretty sure I'm backtracking now, right? Right. Yeah, okay, hold on. Yeah, wow, that's... I, I actually stopped playing at a really bad time last time, didn't I? Because I actually got kind of flipped around on which way I'm going. That's really funny, actually. Oh, I see what you have to do here, finally. Okay, I'm a bit slow, okay. So this was, this is progress. We haven't been here yet, but we got to go and flip this one around. Yeah, a bit slow on the uptake this time. My apologies, everybody. Um, maybe that that be a lesson to save at a less, like, random-looking area. <laughs> All right, we flip that, and now we're going to run this way. Yeah, I feel it. Yeah. So, just so people know a little bit of timeline on, on like, when I'm recording and everything... This is my first recording since the Summer Game Fest's big Final Fantasy VII Rebirth uh, trailer. They showed the big, big trailer for that. It's probably not going to be the final trailer, but it, you know it was finally like a little bit more content after that rather sparse one that they showed uh, like a year or two years ago. So I am now a little bit better aware of what we can expect from Part Two, and it's assuaged some of my concerns and but also heightened a couple more uh, i'll have more to say once we play through this because i don't want to like right now bore you with that wayward wolf okay good well this isn't the oh never mind <laughs> this isn't the uh this isn't the uh, monster we fought like last time there was like that really nasty doggo that that was like a really rough fight and i thought we were about to fight two of those, these uh, thankfully not. Uh, just, just these wolves that I think are easier, I hope. Yeah, look at that, those guys crumbled. Yeah, but just so you know, people aren't like, a lot of the stuff you're asking is being addressed, you know. You know, just to know, okay, my, my previous episodes were written... In a, in a state of less knowledge about uh, the upcoming part. Damn, rough stuff. Sure. Oh, these monsters so polite to let us finish this cutscene conversation. This is really funny. You, you, could you two hurry it up? We're supposed to like fight you in an encounter and stuff. Now nah, let's go. That that's silly. I haven't seen that happen before. So that was that was 
very, very funny. Oh, everyone is being gooped today. Hua, okay. Uh. All right, everybody gone there. Yeah. Ooh, we're running a little low on Sonon's uh, MP there. We should drop an ether on him right about now. Just in case. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, this looked like an optional area, so I figured I'd come here. But I wasn't ready for that rather... Ooh, turbo ether. Yeah. That rather amusing <laughs> little conversation going a little long there, so the monsters had to, like, wait their turn. <laughs> that was very funny. Ah, blue materia, I just now realized. So it looks like... There might be some kind of, like, little trick to get to that center island to get that shiny, shiny treasure. Let's see if we can figure it out. Mm. I mean, for one, I can figure out we're gonna be... Since, since this thing controls all of these, we're gonna be doing a whole bunch of this, eh? Uh, don't think I didn't notice this part here, up here. Let's have a quick look. What's happening around here? Oh, this might actually be the answer to get to that thing. Hold on. I'm gonna throw this. Oh, uh, no, actually. Oh, no, yes, yes. Look, there's a gap here. Okay, I, I, okay, yeah. Convenient of them to set these uh, gaps up like this. Huh, 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 eh. All right, what do we got here? Elemental materia. Yeah, that could come in handy. Maybe set up for Sonon later if we unlock some more weapon slots for him, perchance. Uh, but uh, yeah, I do have to admit, I, I I'll be surprised if they like give a whole new materia that wasn't a thing in the base game here in the UV DLC. Like that, that'll actually shock me. So far, it looks like we're getting the same materia that were available in the base game, which you know, I kind of. Not so surprising that the content of the DLC doesn't have exactly new stuff on that front. Um, I'm not really complaining because the gameplay of Yuffie and Sonon is so fantastic that um, I'm really enjoying that. That's like a really nice thing. But uh, just to notice that, yeah, I feel like we're not doing the whole... New, really new, like, materia stuff to really change up the game. Uh -huh. Waste disposal plant. Okie dokie. On the ground floor again. Right. We fought this thing last time. Hey, that's a mouse right there. Can you please go away? No, that seems... Yep. <laughs> oh, that's not what we fought last time. That's a... That's an ostrich. Or possibly an emu. Oh, this is actually new stuff, though. Th this emu didn't show up in the base game, right? But... But... Oh, oh God, got chicken kicked. I don't remember this guy showing up in the base game, right? No. But here's the thing, this is an enemy that shows up, like, when once you leave Midgar, so this would have been showing up, like, right outside if the game continued past that segment. Um... Levricon, huh? Large bird found in the Undercity. Weakness? Ooh, two weaknesses, huh? When holding a rock, it will repel and counter frontal attacks. Fire and ice attacks will rapidly fill its stagger gauge. If captured, continually press evade to escape. Got it! Oh, oh. Get out of there for a bit. All right, let's get those ninjutsu going. Oh, I'm being about to get brutalized. I was supposed to mash this, right? Yeah, let's see. I don't feel like that mashing helped all that much. Okay. No, just throw it. Oh, he's got the rock. No, ah, I'm hitting all the wrong buttons, I just now realized. 
Oh, thank you. That, that got that auto cure going. Yeah. All right, now let's go. Oh, almost got chucked by a rock. Yeah. Whew, okay. Don't think so. Well, that guy wasn't too bad. Ooh, there's a little few boxes there. Yeah, I don't think that sneaking mission was meant to actually be, like, played, right? Like, I think running into that mouse was you know, a set thing. That's fine. That was funny. I enjoyed it quite a bit. I gave it my best, guys. Ugh. Oh, I like that the mu music got funky again. It had a bit of a break on the top, and we kind of loaded. Once again, I saved in a really in bad spot, huh? Because even the music was kind of, like, out of it for a bit as we came back. But, uh... Ooh, big box. A note from Zizi. What? Also, interesting stuff, the little talk they had there about being like, maybe we should team up with the Splinter Cell, i.e. Barrett's crew. Um, I don't know. But it's, of course, it's setting up uh, that Yuffie, of course, does end up being a party member later on. No spoilers there. Let's see. Uh, conveyor belt passes through storage. Break containers with Shuriken, screw over Shinra. Get to it. What? That's what we've been doing this whole time. What what, what the heck was that all then? Oh, oh, I see. We're not riding a conveyor belt, and is this like a mini game then? Oh, there is, in fact, a lot of them. Yes, Operation Container Carnage. The conveyor belt up ahead will take you through a storeroom filled with small, medium, and oversized Shinra boxes. Use your weapon to break them apart and stick it to the man. Hell yeah, anarchy! Oh, yeah. I wonder if we get something, if we can beat all of these. Oh, nothing on that side. Okay, good. Then we can finish all of those off. Got him. And right, right on cue. Got some over here. Oh, but there's one over there. Oh, goodness. Almost missed. Nothing on that side. Good. Just checking. Whew. All right. I, oh, wait. Yes, there is. Oh, my God. Uh, where, where were all those guys hidden? Look at all those. Whoa. Okay. That one went uh, far. Oh, my God. There were some over there, too. Ah. Uh, Such a stack of boxes. How many on this side? Oh, the mother load of medium boxes. Wow, I'm... Yeah, that was very badly timed, all of that, huh? Blow up a few of those. All right, easier points from the small ones, but we lost them. Oh, there's an oversized box. Let's go. Oh my god, these spoils of war. Nice! Look at this carnage. Hey, hey. So this is uh, not the like most cerebral mini game in the world, but there's satisfaction here. Just if nothing else, the goofiness of the physics engine. Uh, you can't hate on this, can you? That about it, huh? Oh man, I kind of screwed it up here at the end. Only got five oversized boxes. Ah oh, man, I gave them I gave them a good walloping, but ah oh, man, okay. Well, that was a fun diversion. Uh, what now? Some pillar maintenance. I don't see us anywhere near the pillar. We're talking about the central one, but I figured we meant the Sector 7 one. the That one there, maybe? No, I don't know. Anyway. You know, the one that comes crashing down, as we saw in the base game. Oh, split, huh? Oh. Let's get this treasure first. Magic up. Oh, maybe. Once again, 
materia slots are on a bit of a premium, but... Oh, this is a narrow spot. Okay, okay. Camera's getting a little aggressive here, you know. The spacing. Oh. <gasps> Ugh, there have to be so many guards. That's, yeah, that's a ton. Right, main main pillar. Right, so we are sneaking around the main pillar then. I don't really consider that thing a pillar because it's so goddamn huge, but I, I guess it counts as a pillar, so... Yeah, sure. A magic materia? How curious. What magic can we get at this point? Extra lightning. Or, I think it's an extra one. I think we already have one. Oh, nope. Good stuff. And maybe buy a couple of ethers, just in case. Might come in handy. And then let's plop down this funny animation again. Doink! Yeah, Yuffie does nothing with chill, does she? So it's just like... <laughs> Even chillaxing on the, on the bench, she has to like... Plop with all her might. <laughs> nice, there's a little recycling spot here. Hey, see, they do care about the planet, Shinra. Come on now. <laughs> uh. Oh boy. I guess I could drop some voice acting trivia while we're sneaking around here. Uh, for Sonon, of course, since we talked about Yuffie last time. Sonon's voice actor is Alex Lee. Mm, and I did check that it's pronounced Lee. I talked about my annoyance trying to figure out how to say some of these names. And I was like, why don't I just look up the person saying it? And, you know, his last name is spelled with only one E, so it could have been Le, technically, I guess. But, yeah, it, it's Alex Lee is the proper way. He's just had his big break, I would say. Now spill it. Who gave you that information? We'll get back to that oh, in a second. His name was something like... Heidegger? Wrong answer. Oh, no. I'm gonna ask you again. All right, all right. I'll tell you. It was Rufus. You don't say. Or was it Ojo? How do you know all these people? Well, I guess he would. He's like the intel guy, so... Ready to do this, boss? Born ready. Great. I'll draw their attention. You grab our guy. Boy, that looks like a boss fight room, by the way. <laughs> that giant arena they're sitting around in. Ugh. May have typed this voice acting trivia rather badly, if, if my suspicions are correct. <laughs> well, it's doing its job, Sonon. She's... <laughs> what? Oh! Oh, wow! Okay, uh, okay, the outfit reveal made that worth it, that ridiculous anime opening. <laughs> Never mind, it's just some kid. <laughs> awesome. Wait, how did he do that with a staff? Wait. That made like zero sense. Award winning performance, boss. <laughs> Who are you anyway? Got eyes on hostiles. Requesting backup. Let's party. Oh boy. Whoa, what? Gigantipede! Oh, oh my god! What? What are you for? Wow, look at this guy! 
This is crazy. This is... Well, it makes sense. We had spider and crab monster, so I guess centipede is a great choice, too, for a boss fight. But yeah, oh my goodness. So what do we know about Gigantipede? A multi-legged heavy weapons platform developed by Shinra's advanced weaponry division, the Sawd. It is armed with a large number of missiles that it uses to eliminate intruders seeking to gain access to Midgar's central pillar. Got it. Ooh, and it resists everything except lightning, so we gotta switch to Thunder Ninjutsu at some point. Its head is susceptible to physical attacks, while its tail is susceptible to lightning attacks. Lightning attacks also rapidly fill its stagger gauge. Its long-range attack accuracy increases when its containment laser finds a target. Aha, so we're gonna go... Uh, uh. Oh, wow, okay. Dude just does damage just by crawling on us, huh? That's something, I guess. Uh... Ooh, Thunderous Banishment 1. Oh, yeah. Oop! Okay. Wasn't sure which way that was going. That tail went right for me, huh? Okay, okay. So, yeah, we want to actually then do... Oh, no, tail's immune against regular physicals, huh? Okay, okay, I see. So, instead, we want to have Sonon be, like... Body blow? Oh boy, it's gonna crash! Oh! Guy's down! Alright, here we go. Uh... Uh, and let's do a Synergized Art of War. Yeah! Oh yes! Wow! Okay, Synergy did tons of damage! Do we have an elemental materia on Sonon, or why are we getting this weakness all the time? I don't know, but okay. Yeah, you you go on down there. Oh, going for range. Uh oh, right, we haven't seen any of those missiles yet, have we? But it's got those huge pairs of them over there, so yeah, here we go, here we go. Gonna. Drone deployment. Well, that's different. Containment drone. Okay, okay. Okay, I see, I see, I see. No, not the head. Oh my god, I see the missiles coming in. There you go. Right. Safest way to clear these, huh? Okay. Oh boy. What's this now? The claw. Wait. Is it gonna drag something down or is it gonna do a... Uh... Yeah, okay. All right, we're gonna let him do this. And let's go in. Oh! Oh, that body blow went on for a while that time. Okay, well played. Alright, here we go. Do this again. Nice, dude's pressured. And now, Thunderous Banishment 2! Oh no, what the head is immune to that? Okay, wow. Played me for a fool, did you? Alright, that's fine. Oh! Oh my god, look at this freaking Metal Gear shit! Rising specifically, obviously. Awesome! And uh, the head was hiding a drill! Okay, drones are back. Uh. Oh boy, missiles are coming. Uh, got him out of there. Oh boy, I was looking to need a. Oh my god, I'm gonna need a big heal. To get that heal on me, you Sonon, please. Thank you, thank you. Double heal, absolutely. Uh, 
Alright. Safe now for a bit, I guess. Oh, but, but more drones, huh? Okay. Oh, boy. Drill Surge. Let's not find out what that does. Oh, so many missiles. Stop it. Ooh, well done. I didn't realize we had summons available, but it's about time. Get that action in there. You rang! Oh boy, drone's gone, huh? Ah, oh, damn it! Just, just no, I mean Gigantipede down. Just when, just when Rama was here too. Annoying. Okay, okay. Well, let's just draw fire until. All right. I summoned Ramu at a really bad time, clearly. There we go. Just clear these drones while we're here. I don't know. Because Ramu can do something like that. Okay, okay. Uh, let's see. No, you feel it's a circuitous bolt. Can it hit from this far? We'll find out. Why the heck not? <laughs> Death dive. Oh no, it's gonna do the Tarzan thing again. Let's get over here to the side. It's gonna land right on top of this though. <laughs> you landed right in Ramu's thingy. Let's do it again. Oh, yeah, he's pressured. Nice. And almost dead, but I wish we could do, like, a sick finisher here. Well, looks like sick finishers. This'll do. Goodbye. Hey, Saramu worked out perfectly, actually, for that finish. <laughs> I wanted to use my own, the... Uh, Lightning banishment on the guy's tail when it was charged up, but yeah. Just do it. Yep. Nice work. You saved my ass. <laughs> it was nothing. Well, it did earn you these. Ooh. The ID cards. They'll get you into the Shinra building. They had pretty much any floor, <laughs> basement included. That's where advanced weaponry's got their lab set up. And where they conduct their materia research. If what you're looking for is anywhere in that place, it's gonna be there. Got it. You guys should probably get moving. Word is, Shinra's got something big lined up for us. Nothing less than the destruction of Sector 7. <laughs> but That's it is, crazy talk! Cut her off out of it. Right. I'm gonna go report to the others. <laughs> Good luck up there. <laughs> I can't get over this, like... This is like end of episode, like... This music and this scene. <laughs> wow. This whole thing has the energy of like a TV show. Ending of the first episode, right? Sounds like we better get going. <laughs> yeah, you, you see what I you, you have to agree, right? That felt like like the the wacky vibes there, everything wrapping up. It, it was so funny. It totally was like end of end of episode. 